A little warning, which I didn't realise until uh, not too late, but I I, I should have uh, or known about it beforehand. But the sliding plate that goes up the front to place the heads into action, the top sections, left and right. They're held in by two little ball bearings on either side of this plate and they're, they're not contained, they're loose so and here's one in there so you need to be aware that they're there and don't lose them <laughs> they're, they're quite small and the only thing holding them is the grease and oh, I'm glad I saw them in time. So beware. The other thing I did was, and we shall see if it was a good idea or not, but I uh, swapped the pinch rollers. The pinch roller that was on the take up side was a little bit grooved, whereas the one over here was looked really flat so I swapped them fortunately they can be swapped uh, you just have to remount the, uh, the little tape guide that sits on on the uh, supply pinch roller uh, just there there's a, a three-pronged spring that goes over the the main capstan it keeps a good of not only contact but also a pressure but I have a feeling it was in the wrong way because it wasn't doing anything I suspect that uh, and uh, if so it wasn't doing anything it was actually like that uh, let's see uh, do it the other way I oh, know this way yes that's how it was. It was down in there like that, and and the, and the arm that it sits on, that one there. Uh, so these prongs go nowhere. So I suspect that it'd be it had been put in upside down, not knowing the reason for it, but knowing that it was there. <laughs> so I guess uh, that's one good thing. But I, I will check the. Uh, mechanical layout to uh, make sure of that but I suspect it should go onto it with the prongs down like that it keeps a good of not only contact but also a pressure <laughs>